Using Weaved with Codasys in the Raspberry Pi. Codasys is a powerful application used to develop programs for PLCs or programmable logic controllers, frequently used in factory automation. When we learned that an evaluation package was available for Raspberry Pi, we wanted to see if Weaved could easily enable development and execution of these applications over the internet, even when the Codasys development PC and the target device are on different networks or in different locations. The answer is yes. Let's see how to do it. To make things even better, Weaved requires no port forwarding. First, follow the instructions in this video to download the Codasys enabled Raspberry Pi OS image. Get this up and running and make sure that you can connect to it on your LAN using Codasys. Create and download the sample program to the Raspberry Pi before you install Weaved software. Next, you'll need to install Weaved software on your Raspberry Pi. Watch this video for a general overview of installing Weaved on your Raspberry Pi. Also watch this other video for information about using SSH with Weaved. You'll need to create an account at www.weave.com. Next go to the Downloads page and click on the Raspberry Pi icon. Follow the instructions on this page to download and execute the Raspberry Pi installer. Here I'm copying and pasting the commands into the PuTTY terminal which is connected to my Raspberry Pi. You can also use a keyboard connected to the Pi if you're using a monitor. First copy and run this command, which downloads the installer program from Weaved's server. The next command makes this file executable. The third command runs the installation program. We'll run the install program three times. The first time we'll configure a service for SSH on port 22. SSH is always handy to have as it lets you install or uninstall other programs and weave services. Use the default port assignment of 22. You need to give each connection an alias which shows up in the device list on the weaved website or in your mobile app. We'll call this one Codasys SSH. The next time through the installation, cd into the Weaved software folder and run the installer.sh script. At the protocol selection menu, choose option 5 to define a custom TCP application. This one is for the programming connection between the Codasys programming IDE and the Raspberry Pi. Tell the installer that this is not a web protocol and enter 1217 for the port. I'll call this one Codasys IDE. Run the installer one more time and select option 5 again for a custom TCP application. Again, tell the installer that this is not a web application and to use port 8080. I'll call this one Codasys Web. Configuring this as a non-web application, even though it uses HTTP, allows us to get around certain compatibility issues. Now I go to my Codasys project. I've already followed the instructions in the other video and confirmed that I can connect to the Raspberry Pi and download my application and run it. Now I'm going to set up a gateway definition using the connection info I get from Weaved. On the Devices tab, select Communication Settings and then the Gateway tab. Select Add a new gateway. Now open a browser and log into your Weaved account. From your device list, click on the link for Codasys IDE, which we configured for communication between the Codasys application and the Raspberry Pi. After a few moments, you will see a screen with a hostname colon port number style network address. Copy and paste the host name to the left of the colon into localhost for the IP address. Copy and paste the port number to the right of the colon into the port field. Now click OK to save this gateway definition. Next select that gateway definition in the drop down underneath the gateway icon. After a few seconds this should turn green, indicating that the connection through Weaved has succeeded. After that, enter 127.0.0.1 for the device address. Again, it should take a few seconds to connect. Now I can return to my Codasys project and click on the Login button. My program takes a few moments to upload, then it is ready. I can check it first through the Codasys IDE to see how it should work. Next I will show configuring and connecting to the Codasys generated application using the Weaved iOS client. You can download the Weaved app for free from the iTunes App Store. The Codasys IDE by default creates a web page called webvisu.htm at the URL returned by the Weave connection. In device list, 
Tap on the right arrow of the CODASYS web entry to access the settings screen. Use the URL launcher feature of the iOS client to add this web page, which will be linked to automatically when you select this device. Now return to the device list and tap on the CODASYS web entry. This will open up the web page of the application you just created. Now you can interact with your application on the Raspberry Pi.